Hello, welcome to another episode of Age of Mythology Retold Triggers. Today, as promised, is a highly requested video. I'm going to be going through how you make an RPG type scenario with one hero unit, and then how you get a kill counter or an XP counter. There's two ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the first one now. So, this method not preferred, as it's not exactly the most reliable, however it can be done without any external mods. So, I've got my death ring, and Agamemnon's going to punch up some hoplites. When he does, after that hoplite dies, we'll get a special effect, a message saying we've been granted one experience, and we gain one gold from the kill as well. The same happens as well for the rest of the hoplites. There's a slight delay after they die, but if Agamemnon doesn't kill them, they don't grant the experience, as you'll see there. So I've killed four out of the five hoplites, and I'm going to begin four gold from that. I'm not using any trickery of the hoplites, so to prove it, I'll kill some more hoplites and I won't get any gold or experience from these guys. How did this work? As I said, it's not entirely reliable, but it is what you can accomplish with what we discussed in our last video where I went through some of the special effects. What I've done is I've given him extra attack, otherwise this would take a while, and I've used the proto-unit action special effect with proto-unit effect to make him summon a unit after killing an enemy here. So this means after every kill that this Agamemnon performs, because only he has this attack, a wolf belonging to player one will be generated. I've removed player one's starting resources here, so nothing more to see there. So, if we don't create a wolf, we know that Agamemnon has made a kill. Our grant XP is a looping trigger. We detect if player one has a wolf. If so, we change all the wolves into the special effect. And we grant gold and say chat saying plus one experience. I've also put a quest var in here, but it's not useful for anything I've done. I haven't really done anything with it in terms of levels or any other powers. There's another method of doing this, as I said, but you will require a mod. For the next part of the video, if you go to the Mods tab in the main Scenario Editor, Browse Mods, and search for Trigger Pack, you will come across Nutted's Custom Trigger Pack, which is certainly worth a look, and then the AOMH Community Trigger Pack, which I'm using in the next part of this video. Select it, and click the Install button. The mods will install. After this process is finished, you then need to close Asian Mythology Retold and restart again in order for it to take effect. Now that you've downloaded the mod, you'll have access to some conditions and effects I've written. This will allow us to do what we do and create a levelling system. There aren't too many effects at the moment. I will take some requests at Asian Mythology Heaven where I will also document the new effects and conditions that have been added. Let's have a look at our triggers. Our setup. The same, we're just modifying our attack to speed up this process, and I'm going to make a trigger which will equivalent kills with levels. You actually only need one trigger to do this. It's going to be looping. We're going to use the new condition, quest variable statistic value. We're going to call our var kills, and we're going to link it to player one enemy units killed. We want this to fire if our var is less than the stat. The stat will update constantly. So if I've killed two units at once, say, the enemy units killed will go up to two and this condition will be fulfilled. What I then do is I modify my kills variable by one, otherwise this is going to be a constantly looping condition where that condition will always be fulfilled. I'm doing it by one so that if you did get two kills at once, this effect list would run twice. So that way we're keeping up with multiple kills and we're not missing levels if multiple units are killed at once. I'm then going to make a new var called level. It's equivalent to kills, so five kills is five levels in this example. And that's it. That's literally all you need to do. It's really that simple. It will be nice to have some effects so we know what's happening. So let's do a message to the player. Let's let them know that they've reached a level. So we'll colour it pink and we'll say level X reached. We'll close the colour tag. How do we replace the X with our level? In my effects pack I've also put some 
X reference effects. They don't actually do anything, but they give you some useful code and explain what to do with it. So that code copied in will display our quest var. We're not called quest var1, so we just change that to level, kills and level, and that will work. We could have a nice effect as well. So we could make our Agamemnon stronger by 50 health a level. So we're going to modify our hero's hit points by 50, absolutely. And then it's always nice to have a good sound effect playing. If you click this, normally this menu isn't populated. I've written a guide on how to do this and we'll link it in the description. I'm just going to have a relic pick up sound effect. So that's actually it. That's all we need to do. If we wanted our hit points to be related to our level, again, we could use this code here to get the number of our level, but let's just keep it simple and show you what it does. So, let's get murdering! Oh, one kill, level one reached, hit points from 250 to 300. Let's continue. So you'll see that is working. The slight downside of this system is it doesn't relate to units killed by this one hero, so this is only useful if you've got a game where all your units making kills are the kills you want to track. Because if I bolt, I'm getting a level, because that cancels a kill. And if I kill three units at once, I also level. Okay. So now we've got the basic levelling, let's add in a bit of complexity with the concept of experience points. You'll see, in addition to hoplites in the arena, I now have some archers. What we can do is, as before, we can have an experience trigger. Mistype. And we will, again, use quest variable statistic value, XP. But this time, we can use enemy units killed cost. This time, it means that we can assign experience points to our units, rather than the kill value. So every unit has a cost, it's the cost of resources that that unit costs to produce. So a villager is 50 food, a villager would be worth 50 experience. So what happens here? Again, just one condition and one effect. If our XP is less than our unit's killed cost, we set our XP to our unit's killed cost. This is just all in one, rather than having to add one and have multiple triggers, it will just set it immediately to the value and work a little bit faster. What we now need to do is define our experience values for these units. What we can do is we can modify their resource data and essentially make them free, so they'd cost no experience and give no experience, sorry, they cost no resources and give no experience. And then we can use the proto-unit modify resource data again for our Arcus and our Hoplites. And we can give them experience values. So let's make a Hoplite give 50 experience, 50 food like a villager. Let's make our Arcus a bit more spicy and cost 100 experience. I'm now going to set a quest var of our XP requirement, and let's say I want 50 XP per level. So in this example, a hoplite would give one level, and killing an Arcus, or a strong unit, would give two levels. Let's add a custom counter, so we can display our levels nicely. So it's counter custom add, countdown levels, start at level zero, go to however much you want, it will just be level, and we don't want to show the total. That way we've got our levels, we've got our experience, we now need to actually have our level up. So, what's this going to be? We're going to be comparing two quest files here. So if our XP is equal to or greater than our XP requirement, then we level up. So again, quest file modify, level plus one, experience requirement plus 50. 
again for the next level, so it's 50 XP per level. We can add into our counter, so we can increment our level display counter by one. And again, we can have a nice message, level up to level X. We can have a sound effect. Just go the same one again for simplicity's sake. And then we need to actually put the level in the message. So we use the X reference quest variable. It's a text one. Our quest var is level. We copy that and put it in our message box. There we go. So that will now work and we'll be getting XP based on the strength of a unit. Let's see it in action. So we look on, cost 50 food, gives 50 experience. We level up. We level up again, and we level up again. Let's kill a stronger unit now. We went up to level 5 there. Level 7. 8 for the Hoplite. 10 for the Arcus. And 1 more for the Hoplite. There we go. You can see the counter displays we've now reached level 11. And that's an example of how we can do experience counters. Okay, so same setup. We've made our units cost a certain amount of food, therefore we've defined the experience we can get from them. Hoplite is worth 50, Narcus is worth 100. I'm going to do this again, but this time our level experience is going to increase. So it's not going to be 50 XP per level. The more levels you get, the harder it will be to level up. So we need to set some quest vars to start off with. I want our increment we set it as a value we want our increment to be 50 I also want to spell it properly I want our XP requirement to be 50 for the first level our level will start with zero and again we'll have our nice custom counter so we can display our level And it doesn't matter here, that's just when it automatically stops, as you remember, which isn't relevant here. So we've got that set up. We have our XP trigger to calculate our experience. As before, it will be if the XP var is less than our enemy unit's killed cost, then we set our XP to our unit's killed cost. We do this rather than add one because the value is going to jump up quite a lot and I don't want the system lagging behind trying to add one if we get, say, a thousand experience. We now want our level trigger looping. So what's this going to be? If our XP is equal to or greater than our XP requirement, we level up. So we're going to level up. We're going to add one level to our counter. Counter custom increment. Countdown level. Same one we put on here. Add one to that. Now you'll remember I've got an increment var and a requirement var. So at the moment our XP is greater than our requirement. So we do need to add these vars up. What should happen next? So we've got our increment as 50. I actually want to modify our XP required by our increment value. But I want our increment value to increase. So increment plus 50. I move that up there. So what happens? Our requirement is 50. Our increment is 50. Our level goes up. Our increment is now 100. And the requirement goes up by 
100. Next level, the increment will be 150 and the requirement will go up by 150. This could get confusing for a player, so we could add another counter that will display the XP needed. So let's do another quest var. Let's set this XP needed as zero. And how are we actually going to calculate it? What do we actually need to know here? So we want to add our XP requirement, and then we want to subtract our actual experience. That will give our XP needed for a level. We can display this in a fake counter. XP required for the next level. And again, we can use our reference text snippet to put our quest var in there. Let's see this. So, level zero, 50 XP required. The level shot up there, so let's have a look and see what happened there. So if our XP is equal to or greater than our requirement, we add our increment. Yeah. There we go. This is why we have standardised names, so to prevent that sort of mistake. There's another slight error in here. I don't know where that ENT came from, but that's not a valid quest var, so we just need to go through and make sure that they're actually real, and this will now work as intended. So, level 0, 50 XP required. Level 1, we need 100 to get to the next level. We now need 50. Now reached level 2, and more XP is required. Let's go for the stronger units. We reach level 3. Let's get killing again. And we cross another level. And now we've got 200 XP left. So if we get these four hoplites here. We now reach level 5. And that's how you do increasing XP for levels. It's a more complicated video than previously. That's why it's come later in the series. Have a look back through what I've done here. Try the basic stuff first. So try and make kill equivalent to experience with just that one trigger first of all. Then use actual experience and then you can build on to the second part. Follow the steps through and you should be able to replicate this. Have fun!